Right, so for next example, I want to create something like this. Uh, you've, you've seen this in uh, games before. If a character is sort of moving through the snow and it's sort of pushing the snow apart and looks pretty cool and looks like something that would be pretty difficult to make. Uh, something like this is actually quite simple with a um, with Sob Solver in Houdini. If you ever want to do something like this, you don't need to do any difficult grain simulations or something like that. You can do something like this very simply with a uh, Sob Solver. Uh, so let's make an example of that as well. Let's do example zero four, and like all of these examples that we're doing here, are just sort of just very quick, uh, simple things that uh, are just easy things you can try. So you can kind of see how powerful uh, just a regular stop solver can be, and you can. Uh, hopefully you see how you can use all of this type of stuff yourself in your own uh, projects. Anyway, let's make a box of uh, 10 by 1 by 10. Let's make it into a VDB from Polygons. It doesn't need to be super high resolution for now. Uh, depends on the detail you want, but we don't want to take this forever to, uh, to sim. Um, and let's make a sphere. Let's highlight it. Let's just make it a uh, polygon. And couple of divisions and let's make a VDB from polygons as well. We also want this to be a, uh, a volume. Let's do a VOC volume. And let's put a transform after it. So we can move it about. And let's, let's move this up. Maybe we want to make it a little bit bigger, right? Move to the side. Let's just sort of animate this through our um, through our scene. So, so let's move it to the other side like that, and then let's move it a little bit over here and a little bit over there. Let's make it maybe a little bit bigger here. Now let's make it a little bit smaller again. We have something interesting. So it's gonna it's gonna just move. It's gonna just move through here. All right. Amazing. All right. Now let's do our solver. Look at him. And let's do a uh, VDB reshape SDF. You could also do a subtract SDF and then instead of doing a density source on the second input, you could uh, make it a SDF. Uh, I'm gonna do a reshape SDF and I'm gonna erode it away. So erode, let me just show you what this looks like outside of the solver. Erode will essentially um, sort of erode away anything that's sort of in there. So if we increase the amount, it would all right, so you can kind of see it's just eating away, um, yeah, anything that's inside the sphere there. So let's do that in the in the solver, and essentially what it is gonna do again is gonna. I mean, probably need to. Well, we need to actually highlight it. It might make more sense <laughs> because we cannot really see what's going on. You can see. All right, this is. So you can see it's because it's doing it on the previous frame. It's just sort of eating away at our surface there. And we could then say convert VDB to polygons, and we would have a polygon surface. And we could <coughs> do a little bit more interesting stuff here as well. What we could do is let's, uh, let's have a look at our, let's do convert VDB. And, or let's do, all right, let's do something else. Let's do um, a row, let's do, all right, let's do transform. All right, and we wanna, all right, so we wanna scale this up slightly. So let's do, put the center of this, centroid to input two. Oh, uh, input two, all right. Direction X, so this is gonna, direction Y and, and direction Z, or we need to actually copy it. This is gonna keep the center to the center of the input. So you can see now our thing will be centered here. Let's make this 
uh, maybe 1.5 times as big. Let's do um, VDB combine. And let's subtract. Let's do red. I think it's a little bit difficult to see. Let's. Uh, pretty sure the center should now be empty. Maybe we can let's make this VDB a little bit more high res so we can actually kind of see what we're gonna be what we're doing here. Right. Yeah. You can see it's now eating away on the inside. We could do another reshape. You could put that in there and we could do a, uh, could do a dilate and just slightly dilate it. Let's have a look at what that's going to do. Oh, and now the viewport is breaking. Lovely viewport. Don't you ever change. All right. Uh, all right. So let's go in here. <coughs> uh, or, oh yeah. This needs to go over. This needs to connect to that. All right. Let's have a look. All right, that's <laughs> a little bit too extreme, maybe. Let's do just a tiny bit of dilation. So essentially, what I'm what I'm gonna be doing here is I'm gonna sort of pushing up the, the sides a little bit. Essentially, that's what I'm wanting to do. So right, yeah. So now you can see we're sort of pushing pushing up these sides. So that's because we're we have this this sphere here, which we're scaling up. And then we're uh, subtracting sort of the original sphere from it. So we get sort of a boundary layer here of density. And then in this reshape here, uh, we're sort of dilating out everything that's in going to be inside of that sort of bounding region that we that we have here. And if you don't get this, let's do a four limb slice. So to make it extra clear what's going on with that VDB there. So you can see this is essentially what our volume looks like, right? So everything that's going to be in this bounding region is going to be dilated. So I want to want to sort of demo this. You can see if I dilate it out, it's going to sort of grow out. If we make this way too extreme, we're going to get what we were getting initially. We need to actually be outside of the solver in order to see what's going on there. Okay, so that's not what we want, but or maybe it is what you want. It depends on what you want to do, of course. But let's reset that and let's play again. So essentially what you get here is just a little layer of snow that's being pushed up. So if we were to sort of merge this, merge this sphere back in, just the, let's do a reference copy of our actual thing here. So we can actually merge our regular. So reference copy will essentially just copy the entire node with every parameter linked up. So let's have a look. And you can see we actually, um, yeah, we get a sphere sort of just pushing away stuff. And I mean, right now it's a sphere, but we could grab a uh, test geometry crag. And we could just grab crag here. Let's have a look. Let's make him a little bit bigger. Let's, let's, uh, let's move in. Let's put him over here. See how far he moves. He moves until there. All right. I think. Okay. Well, let's make our snow a little bit less wide. And let's put. Let's turn off that thing there. And let's put Craig in instead. And. So we got our VDB. And we got our Craig. And we convert Craig to a VDB. All right, and um, let's see what it's going to do. Let's merge them in. And let's not merge in our sphere. Let's actually merge in crag, the actual geometry, not the VDB. Right. You can see just very, very quickly, we already got, um, yeah, we got the snow setup. You see, it's it's not the fastest to simulate, but it depends on course on the resolution on your, uh, um, yeah, on your 
in your VDB. Of course, you could you can speed stuff like this up if you reduce resolutions on other things. But uh, you can see in general, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of that's kind of this effect, and then you would just do nice shader magic. But that's that's essentially what's happening, sort of in uh, if you do a snow setup like that. Quite simple, um, but quite effective. So you see now he's gonna grab it and it's gonna just stick around there in the snow. Looks quite nice, and you could uh, just do a color, make it then actual white snow. Beautiful. And let's do a smooth, smooth SDF. All right, so a little bit more smooth. And there you go. You got uh, you got yourself a nice little snow setup. Um, so yeah, you can see stuff like that can be very simple. You don't need any grain simulations. You can you can fake all for fake a lot of stuff just um, just with a very simple swap server. So um, yeah, on to the next example.